Alright, so my next video here is going to be about creatine. I am Carter Schley, Certified Personal Trainer and Nutritional Specialist through the National Academy of Sports Medicine. Alright, so creatine is an amino acid uh, created in the body um, and it mostly stores in your muscle and in your brain. Uh, food sources for creatine are seafood and meats, uh, red meats to be um, specific. Um, and your body creates uh, creatine in your liver, pancreas, and kidney. Um, benefits for from creatine, uh, basically it benefits um, kind of power athletes and uh, sprinters uh, or weightlifters. Um, it benefits people who have sports that are really explosive basically. So if you're going to be a long distance sprinter, um, it's not as, uh, or a long distance runner I should say, it's probably not as uh, good for you to take creatine, although there aren't really negative effects associated with it. It just won't help you as much. Um, uh, you, and you can take creatine um, from what I've researched up to five years with no really bad effects. Um, it can end up being hard on your kidney though and your heart after that. Um, and a lot of people take their creatine with caffeine. Um, if you take creatine with your caffeine, what happens is Caffeine wants to pull uh, water out of your body and creatine wants to hold water in your body. So you're going to want to take like 16 more ounces of water every day um, if you're going to be taking caffeine and creatine. And this is especially important because most pre-workouts have both of these in them. Um, and what else you can do is, um, besides taking, or what else you should know besides taking 16 ounces of water is that, that when you take creatine, what happens is it really kind of gets rid of the effect when you take caffeine, it gets rid of the effect of creatine. So you really don't want to be taking those. At the same time, if you do, make sure you're drinking enough water um, with that. All right, next we got, so, and when should you take creatine? So um, there's not really a specific, oh, there's research on it, but there's no specific time that you really need to take creatine. Um, from all the research I've seen is you can basically take it any time of day and you'll get the same effect. There are some studies showing that you may get a little leaner if you are to take it um, directly after your workout and that that can help absorb it a little bit better into your body. Um, so if you wanted to um, try that, that'd probably be the best for you, but you could take it at any time of day. Um, and then uh, basically when you start taking creatine, there is something called the loading phase. So what you wanna do is basically to saturate your muscle with creatine. You want to start out by taking about 20 grams of creatine every single day for about three to five days. After that, you can go down to um, about five milligram or sorry, five grams of creatine every single day. Um, if you take it just five grams a day without loading first, it can take up to about four weeks to get the full effect of the creatine. The loading just kind of helps you get that full effect right away. Um, when you're taking creatine, you also want to have uh, two months on of uh, taking creatine and two weeks off of creatine. So um, this is basically kind of because uh, your body will, um, the effects of creatine will basically wear off in your body kind of like caffeine would as you take it over time. So if you want it to be the most effective, you'll take it for two, um, two months and then take it off for two weeks. And then, um, what was I going to say? So then the other thing you need to remember is, um, when you take it, you sh I'd say load it the first time. You don't need to go ahead and um, reload the uh, creatine every single time you start retaking it after the initial time. Um, that's just kind of from research that I found because uh, most articles won't tell you if you should load it every single time, but it sounds to me like that's not really uh, something you need to keep doing. And then the final thing is when you do take your creatine, and it's something I've been doing for a while, is take it with uh, fruit juice because the fruit juice, and if you take it after your workout, the fruit juice will spike your insulin and um, and this allows the creatine, you to get more creatine into your cells um, and in, into your muscle, up to 60% more creatine if you just drink it with juice. Um, I use orange juice. Um, if you're going to be doing this a lot though, you might want to find a juice with a little bit less sugar in it, especially if your goal is to lose weight. Um, so this is my video on creatine. Thank you.